Thank God he's not a deep sleeper. Ah! On his leg! Hey everyone, welcome. This is Jeroen, better known as Dutch Bond fan, and I'm once again rejoined by my lovely girlfriend Lirit. Hi! <laughs> We're very excited today because we are about to start a whole new series of episodes in a new format, if you will. You may have already been introduced to my girlfriend in the My Girlfriend Watches Bond series, a spontaneous series in which I mainly interviewed her about the Bond movies. Well, in this series, we're basically doing a more upgraded and more planned out version of that. Because we received a lot of feedback on that series. You guys seem to really enjoy it. But you guys also mentioned, like, why aren't you watching all of the Bond movies in order? Why are you skipping so much of the classic Bond movies? Why aren't you focusing more on Lirit's reaction? We, we love that stuff. So. We put all your feedback into one big cocktail and out came this new format. We hope you enjoy it. Please let us know if you do enjoy this new format. Let, leave us a like, leave us a comment. Let us know because who knows if this becomes successful we could use this format on maybe other movies as well besides Bonds. Maybe um, Indiana, Jones. Indiana Jones. That was suggested yeah. indeed. Uh, we both haven't watched that so if you guys are interested in seeing us react to other movies that I haven't seen too, we will be open to do that as well. So we hope you enjoy uh, this new series we're starting today. So, lots of talking from my side here, uh, but of course you guys would like to hear from her as well. <laughs> um, how are you feeling? Uh, excited to do, to do this, uh, this new format. Good. Um, yeah. We're beginning all the way to 1964? 62 is 62. the first. You were very close. Good okay. job. Okay. Yeah, the very first Bond movie, yes. 1962. All the way in order. Perhaps. Yeah, but we're not doing it all in one sitting. No, of course, no. So. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the very first James Bond movie, uh, yeah. starring Sean Connery, who you already oh, saw yes. in one Bond film. The, the only one you saw from Sean Connery. Do you yeah. remember which one it was? Goldfinger. Goldfinger, yeah. that's right. It was something with gold. Yeah, you remembered. <laughs> yeah, Goldfinger. Um, you enjoyed Sean Connery a lot as Bond, I remember. Yeah, he's a beautiful man. So. Right, that's a good reason yeah. to, to watch him again yeah. today. Um, but, we, we can sugarcoat it what we want, but we know you're not the biggest fan of older movies. No. And there's a lot of older Bond movies yeah. we're about to watch now. So. How do you feel about delving in? Do you think you could still make that something exciting or is it something well, to really look up against or how do you feel? A lot of you said in the comments that we have to watch the old movies because there you can see James Bond back in the days. So I'm pretty excited to watch the old movies. If I like them, that's another story. We'll have to see. I mean, we can't, uh, we can't do magic. I Fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, who knows, you could learn to appreciate them more as we go along. You never yeah. know. So, um, we'll see. We'll <laughs> see. Um, before we delve into 1962's yes. Dr. No. Um, why it's called Dr. No. I won't spoil that. Do you have a guess, though, why it's called Dr. No? Anything springs to mind? Maybe he says throughout the movie a lot of notes. <laughs> right. I don't know. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> so, okay. So, pretty much no uh, background information for you. Do you know who the very first Bond girl is? No. No, no, no not an idea. Not. So, she's Who's going she? in. I'm not going to tell you um. either, so you're just going to see. <laughs> and we're going in pretty much blind. All she knows is it stars Sean Connery and it's a movie from yeah. 1962. And he plays. <laughs> James Bond 007, you know that much. Mm, 
Yes, and there's a bad guy, I think, and he will fight him. Yeah, you know what to expect from a Bond movie, of yes, course. Yes. Obviously, this is the very first cinematic Bond movie. Everything was still new. The music, the, everything you'll see is... Mm -hmm. It's a first of its kind. Obviously, they only had a $1 million budget, which even in those days wasn't the most for a movie. It's a lot. It's for, a lot. It's a lot, but for a movie, it's not the biggest budget. And you'll notice that some shots, it still needed to grow. It still needed to become a franchise. So you hear like the poof, poof. Yeah, there's a lot of classic stuff in there, yeah. I, I just hope you... I think that's funny. Man. Yeah, you will see during your reaction. I hope you can enjoy it. If you want to see Lirit's full-length reaction to this, uh, that is available on my Patreon page. Uh, for all premium supporters over there, you can check it out. And without further ado, let's delve into Dr. No. This is already different. Yeah. <laughs> yep, here it comes now. But it's also with a big band, I think. Do you hear it? Yeah, the orchestra. Of, uh, John Barry did the music yeah. for the orchestra of the James Bond theme, and Monty Python, another composer, did the music for the movie, only okay. for this one. It immediately goes into the titles as well. Yeah. Normally that's different too. It's only the first that has that. But there's also a theme song with every movie, right? Right. And now it's only like... The Bond theme. The Bond yeah. song. It's because... Um, yeah, you're right. Good observation. Only the first one has that. That uh, not have a, a title song. It's just with the a, Bond theme. With a famous singer. Yeah. Title and song. Mostly with other movies, there's something with a story from the movie. In the titles, you mean? Yes. Well, these are Jamaican uh, dancers, so. This is in Jamaica. It's in Jamaica, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Bond's spiritual father, Ian Fleming, uh -huh. he came from. He lived in Jamaica. Okay. So it's set over there. Okay. You ever been to Jamaica? No, I've never left Europe. They want to show that cat the attitude a tree blind man. Maybe this is the theme song. <laughs> tree yeah, kind blind man. <laughs> Look at that hand as well. Did you see Which one? The huge hat in the background. From the woman? Yeah. But there was not one hat there were like hats in a plastic bag and she had it on her head plastic bag yeah i'll have to look back at it <laughs> poo, poo. Poo. different sound effects back in the day right but they're not blind nope they're not blind to me this is over G7W London. I, I always think that has a charm, the 60s, yeah. like the radio contact. But the bookcase. <laughs> yeah, this was high tech back in the day. What? The blood, it's like nail polish. <laughs> it's not really nail. bright red. Yeah. OW6N, over. Customer service. <laughs> yeah, this Back in the is kind of. It's the, a switchboard where they of signals, like put the thing, connect yeah, everyone. Connect the women, their hair are perfect. Yeah, I love the 60s fashion. You already see him from behind. He's kind of teased. I admire your luck, Mr. Bond. James Bond. He's, can you imagine Connery is only 32 years old, like one year older than me here. He looks like he an looks adult like 40. man. He looks very mature already. Yeah. That's telling how different ages were back then, mm -hmm. I think. What do you think of Connery, how he looks and dresses, walks? I think he immediately got it down. Yeah. He gives them tip. For opening yeah. the door. <laughs> but so that was smooth talk what he did. Yeah. But <laughs> I would I would fall for him and I'm not, 
I don't fall for men. I mean, the guy's a sexy bastard. Oh, it's this money penny. Yeah. I've been dinner looking like every this single day. movie they do the same. Take they take me to dinner. Yeah. So the story is very simple. He just has to find out what happened to mm -hmm. Strangways. That's it. Not a complicated story. This That's one. a different door than now. Uh, see? You mean in the recent movies? Yeah. Well, they always yeah. And the, it, it's the, the leather. Yeah. It's like in all the, the older ones. In all the older ones. Like just like that. Yeah, right in the middle of the evening procedure. Yeah. Or did you forget? M only became a woman after seventeen films in the nineties. Really? Yeah, we were introduced to her. You were like, yeah, girl power. <laughs> no Q yet. This no, is, is the, this Q? This is the predecessor of Q. In the okay. next one, it becomes the actor. That, that, that is Q. Nice and light. In the lady's handbag. <laughs> you carry a double O number. It means you're licensed to kill, not get killed. Oh, he, he already had a license to kill. Yes, yeah, from the beginning. Oh, we see his house. Yeah. You rarely see his yes. house. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful with the green. There. Now you made me miss it. Who's that? Oh, that's the... The girl from the casino. Pan Am. Pan America. Yep. Wow. Smoke in the smoke everywhere in the 60s. There weren't real terrorist threats yet. Oh, <laughs> she's bad. You can already tell. <laughs> that one is also a bad guy. The chauffeur, you think? Yes. You can see it in his eyes. Oh, uh, look, he's gonna. And that guy also over there with the glasses. They're Lots of people him. shadowing him. Oh, he's checking now. If they send the driver, you can see it in his eyes. He's gonna try and see yeah. who they are anyway. Immediately, he's onto something. But who's he? There's lots of mysterious. Oh, I thing. know, the CIA. You think he's the CIA yes. agent? Felix Leiter. Beautiful cars. <laughs> Like this. Bond's not messing around though. No, no. That music. Yeah, I just want to say it's like Tom and Jerry. Yeah. Music. It's, it's only the first one. Let me have a cigarette. Let me have a cigarette. My head was so. Ah, there were suicide things. Yep, cyanide. Yeah. He just brought him with him. I'm <laughs> sure he doesn't get away. <laughs> this is something I only noticed after watching the movies several times. What? Right here in the background. You see the three blind mice over there. Go on in. You see them? Oh yeah. Old school. Mm -hmm. But it still works a trick like that to tell if someone's been in your closet. Yeah. Just get a hair on there. Now, if you excuse me, I got business to do. You think he's a bad guy or a good guy? Good guy. You think he's a good guy? Oh, he's the man in the car. This the one. CIA. Yeah. yeah. Is it true? He is the guy in the, that, in the fisher boat picture that drove the car with the guy you think is from the CIA. Yeah, so he's good. Right. <laughs> poof, poof. And then the other guy comes. Oh my god! And this is the CIA guy. Wow. How do you know? Don't I you? don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You got it right. That uh, I I thought that was really good. For, you already tell, could tell of on the other. Of course. <laughs> A lot of people all, only find out here, though. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Like they thought, oh, they're the good guys. And Coral is a good guy too. Yeah. <laughs> but you had it figured out immediately that they were good guys. I only watched uh, 
see you sigh and like yeah, that's but kind it doesn't of always go like so. this. Yeah. Uh, did, uh, look at look at this guy dancing in a minute. It's like he's on drugs. I always think it's such a weird background extra. But she is and she is bad. Yeah, that's the photographer girl from the airport. Yeah. But well, here he is. <laughs> He's like an extra and yeah. he really want to go on <laughs> screen. <laughs> There's the guy again. <laughs> Pussfella! Pussfella! I think it's such an awesome name, Pussfella. Piece of glass. He doesn't even flinch. Wow, but she just did this. Glass on his face, he's like, hmm. Crab tea scares me plenty. Friends of mine went out there once after seashells. And Aaron scares him, but glass in his face now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing much, except his name. Dr. No. That's yep. why it calls Dr. No. Yep. He's the villain. No great arm, pot rice. Can I see them? Well, no, I, I throw them away. You throw away samples from another another guy. Mm -hmm. What about this guy? Do you trust him, Professor nope. Dent? He's the bad guy. He's gonna go to Crab Key, so yeah. he's working for Doctor No, probably. Yeah. Is this for the rocket? Rockets? You think Doctor No has something to do with disrupting the space rockets? Yes. Who knows? Sit down. Is Where is he? I just hear his voice from English. It's a spider. Tarantula. Tonight. Yuck. You're such a fan of spiders. No. So. <laughs> no, not at all. You always hear the bomb music when he's just walking, right? Now they use it more for action. Mm -hmm. Here they use it more to, for the sexiness, I guess. See, everyone thinks he's sexy. You see? <laughs> Which he is, I guess. And now he's taking a look at his hair and the fingerprints. Right. I think it's already broken, the hair. And somebody touched his uh, suitcase. Yep. Hair's gone. He touched his stuff. Yeah, don't drink it. Where's the spider? You feel it coming? Of course. They said tonight, so... Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> I'm itchy. This will be your worst nightmare, right? Of course! Thank God he's not a deep sleeper. Ah! On his leg! This shot. No. It's like it's like this. Yeah, I know. Oh, I hate spiders. Oh, why is he not doing anything? He is. He's waiting for it to leave because they're dangerous. But it's not leaving. It's coming up to his face. It there, it was on the pillowcase. Yeah, it must have. Yeah, you're right, it must have fallen off. But at least, how did you hear the music when he do, yes. was doing the shoe? <laughs> Very sorry, sir, but we can't find him anywhere. They took it in the beginning, yes. right? His men. Can I get out that way? Hmm. You already know what he's going yes. to do. Yes, I saw it already in his eyes when he was sitting over there. <laughs> she came in. But he also suspects her. See, she's listening. You little habit. 
listening at keyhole. But she looks Chinese. Exactly. So what tells you that? That she's bad. There are a lot of bad people in this movie. Yeah. I should say maybe. Three o'clock at my hotel. Maybe. <laughs> That's how you ask people out in the 60s. I, I, I always wanted to use that line. This is fake. Yeah. <laughs> it's dated, right? But it's, it, you know, it's a movie almost 60 years ago. Ooh! Did you saw the wheel of that other car? Yeah. This is fake. You see how big the car is? The car is much bigger, yes. yeah. This is real. Yeah, but why does it explode? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe someone light a cigarette or a cigar? It's not even the engine, it's in oh, the car. Yeah. I think they were on their way to a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> their own funeral. And they were driving a hearse. Mm -hmm. I just didn't expect you here so soon. <laughs> this is not a towel, this is a dress. It's a dress because huh. at the back you saw the zipper. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're right. It is because he unzips it later. I'll call you later. He already has the scarf like he wants yeah. to kill her. So he's just using her for sex now. Yeah. And uh, be careful of her nail varnish. She's getting arrested. Yep. But that was in the 60s something. He slept with her knowing she's a bad girl. And he, you know, that was what? <laughs> Back in the day. Yeah. Why is he getting inside? Because he knows someone is coming here to get him. He just let her be arrested. Because he wanted him to stay here, right? Yeah. So he knows they're sending someone. I'm behind you. Information. I'm working for... Is it Smith and Weston? Yeah, six rounds. And you've yeah. had your six. Bought you. <sighs> he just sh shoots yeah. him in cold blood. I think this is one of the coolest scenes in the, in the series. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is another thing. Look, how, look at how this is filmed. Low at the water. They don't want you to see the sky. But you know why? No. Ha ha have a look at the sky. It's fake. It's daylight, but they they just blacken the screen daylight. like it's night. Oh. You see, it's, oh, it's yes. during the day yeah. this is filmed. I guess they didn't really have technology to make it seem to film at night. With good it's lighting. just like a filter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're going to sleep on the island? Yeah. He's looking for a dragon. Yeah. What do you expect from the dragon? It's fake. Is this the Bond girl? Yeah. Ursula Andress. What are you doing here? Looking for shells? No, I'm just looking. Hey, where you are. <laughs> you remember Hellberry with the knife? There's a reference to Okay. Her. I did. Rider what? Honey, Rider. The names! <laughs> What's that? Captain, what do you think of that? <laughs> the way he looks at her. Holy shit, where did he get that? her? <laughs> when they casted Ursula Andrews just because they saw a picture of her in a wet t shirt and they thought, oh wow, she's beautiful. And that's how she got the part. Oh, really? That's it. It just needed to be beautiful back in the day. She's uh, from Switzerland. Okay. She was a model? Yeah. Okay. They're shooting just in nowhere? They're trying to hit them. They don't know where they are. We'll be back! We'll be back with a dog! <laughs> oh, I'm so scared! I have to go into the swamp. Why? To try and... Uh, well, first of all to flee from the guards, but also to try and find uh, Dr. No. Give me the knife. Underwater. How will they breathe? 
with the thingies from the plant. It's like bamboo. Yeah, once again you predicted it right. <laughs> once again. Good job. They still haven't done it yet. <laughs> See, they're already they're just cutting it and you already can, you already can predict it. Yeah. Sean Connery has tattoos? Uh, he might have, but I, I'm not sure if it's visible in the movie. Did you see a yeah, tattoo? Yeah, I saw it. Oh, I have to look back at it. Never noticed. <laughs> oh no! But he, he only did this! Yeah. Like he didn't snap to his neck or something like that. <laughs> Danger! But also in the water, or? Just uh, because they're reaching Dr. No's base. Those are dragon tracks. <laughs> oh look, that's where he breathed. But that was from a car, right? Yeah, from like... <laughs> I suppose you went to school somewhere. I didn't need to, we had an encyclopedia. I started at A when I was eight and now I've reached T. What? I bet I know a lot more. Just lived in the wilderness. Or yeah. Like Tarzan. Yeah, female Tarzan almost. <laughs> I put a black widow spider underneath his mosquito net. A female and they're the worst. It took him a whole week to die. Oh! <laughs> Bond's face is like, what the fuck? Well, it wouldn't do to make a habit of it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tank. Yeah. <laughs> it's to get the people out of there. Fire breathing tank. Well, it's weird because the World War Two is already like finished, and they had also tanks. So they should know, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I guess they never saw one in Jamaica. burned him. But he could have worn more less bright colors like a red shirt. You, everybody sees you. They should have worn camouflage. What do you think? Yeah. Oh my god, he's dead. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Yeah. Of course that will help. Looks like a submarine, that thing. Yeah, a weird thing, right? It's like a shark. Yeah. Check that bag, lady. Now she has shoes. Oh yeah, did she have shoes before? No. Not on the beach, but maybe, maybe she also got that from the boat. Do the girl first. Now look, man, we give the orders around here. Yeah, that's fine, but do something about this, will you? Here, come here, you. <laughs> he just gives the orders anyway. <laughs> It's so weird to watch. She's naked? No. Oh, believe me, I checked. <laughs> See, <laughs> back in the day. No, she got a, she got a suit on. Skin suit. Come in. She has in. the same hair. Like... Come in. You poor Chinese dear. again. We yeah. simply didn't know when to expect you. Huh? First it was tea time. Huh? I'm Sister Rose. So this is Sister Lily. Now they're treated like first class yeah. guests. They just killed Quarrel. I hope they fit. We didn't get your sizes till last night. Huh? Don't have to oh. ring if there's anything else over here. Beautiful room, though. It's beautiful. Well, let's have some breakfast. How can you eat at a time like this? Because yes. I'm hungry. We don't know when we'll get the chance yes. to eat again. What's the matter? I see there's something in the food. Oh, so good. But we're watching for an hour and a half and we mm -hmm. still haven't seen the villain. Nope. So. Only his, uh, like... Voice. His voice Pick. and the helpers. Yeah. 
Yeah, look at the hands. Metal hands. Is it metal? Oh. That's weird. But it's all Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the clothes? Would you like to wear a dress like that? It looks like a kimono. Yeah. What are you expecting from Dr. No? I don't know. No idea? No idea. I love the, uh, the film sets. That this, this is a guy, a uh, production designer, Ken Adam. He makes all the film sets in the early Bond movies, mm -hmm. like Fort Knox and Goldfinger. He made this as well. It didn't have a huge budget, but I think it already looks pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Yeah. It's underwater. Magnifying glass. Yep, they're underwater. Dollars this is to just bond. a video. You were wondering what it cost. Matter of fact, I was. Can you tell the makeup on his eyes mm -hmm. to make him look Chinese? He's not Chinese. Okay. He, he has like... Medium dry martini, lemon peel, shaken, not stirred. Eh. Vodka? Of course. There's a little inside joke here for the moviegoers back then. There was a painting stolen in 62. That was that painting. So they made a joke like Dr. Nelson. Oh, really? Yeah. He's like, huh. It's just a joke for the viewers back then. The Duke of Wellington, I think, the painting is called. Take her away. No. No. I'm no. sure the guards will no. amuse her. No. Ah! no. Tell me. Does the toppling of American missiles really compensate for having no hands? <laughs> Missiles are only the first step to prove our power. Uh, He's straight to the point. Yeah. I'm a member of SPECTRE. SPECTRE? SPECTRE? SPECTRE. Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge, Extortion. That's the last movie, right? Yep. It's the evil organization Bond is always up against in the early movies. But now his whole assignment change. He was looking for Strangways. MI6. Yeah. For Strangways. Mm -hmm. Disappearance. Yeah, but that his disappearance had to do with Dr. No, so it yeah. in interconnected and he found out that he's toppling the missiles. Also like yeah. he predicted. Look, look at the face. It's different. It's a stun man. <laughs> <laughs> Hot? Yeah. In the book, this was different. Uh, he wasn't making an escape, but Dr. No had this for him to torture him, to test his endurance. That's why they let him sleep, so he can see how far a body, human body can take to experiment on him. Ah. But all of that is not in the movie. Here it's just an escape. Oh my! Oh my! Ooh. But they're just testing him, or what? In the book they are, in the movie it's it, it's just uh, him escaping. It just happens to be water. That easy? Control interlocks free. Fuel elements 12.5. He's just standing there. Yeah. Winter standing by. Ignition heaters on. Radiation. Very 60s, right? Yeah. All of this. There always has to be a danger level in these bases, right? Yeah. Here you can tell again, this is a model. Yeah, you can see it on the with the boat. It's like a boat like this size, maybe. What is he doing? He's gonna overload the system. This suit was also strange. The radiation suit? Yeah, it's suit. He's falling in the water. It's a nuclear uh, reactor, so you'll die if you go. Oh no! He has metal hands. Mm -hmm. He can't climb out. Nope. So the missile is safe. So Doctor No is dead. Yeah, and the like rocket death. is saved. But now he still needs to save one more person. Yeah. But he will save her, and then he will uh, kiss her, and something like that. <laughs> So he's just left there to drown. The guards made it seem like the guards can amuse her, like she was gonna get raped, yeah. I think, and she just died down. Now he's 
Now she's wearing a dress. How? How is that possible? Uh, was it, wasn't he wearing a dress? No, when she was. She tied was down? Uh, when she so. was tied down, she was wearing a dress. Yeah. But when she was at that dinner, she wasn't wearing a dress. Yes, she was. No, she was wearing pants and uh, a shirt. Oh, thingy. you're right. They unzipped her pants. Yeah, you always pay attention to the clothes. So it's the same dress but without the pants. It's nuclear. Yeah. That's the end of the Cram Key base. What How is did they knew that they were there? I guess they just found them after a while. Do you Look. see his tattoo? Look at that. Oh yeah, they does it. There is a tattoo. It's like she's going down on them. But they're just kissing. And this is the end? This oh yeah, this end. is the end. And he just unties the rope. What a guy, eh? What a guy. <laughs> so that was Dark to Know. We just finished watching it. Yes. Uh, I asked you to rate a few aspects of the movie. Yeah. Before we get to that though, what are your overall thoughts? Well... It was a nice movie for a movie who was filmed in 1962. Right. But you saw it was old. <laughs> yeah, some scenes are dated. Some scenes, yeah. Uh, but overall, it was an enjoyable movie. I'm glad to hear that because this is the, old, the, the oldest Bond movie, mm -hmm. so they only get newer after this. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm glad at least the oldest one you did enjoy. Yeah. Um, any comments on the music or on... We'll get deeper into it, but any more or? Um, the Mango Tree song I liked. Right. And I didn't fall asleep. Yeah, you, you can't, oh you can, but everyone's going to see it if you do it in, in, in this format. You can't. Nope, nope. <laughs> so, I'm happy. But I liked it, yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy you, you liked it. So, um, I got you a sheet. Uh, it will <laughs> appear in the screen as well. And I asked you to rate a few aspects yeah. of the movie. Uh, let's start at the Bond performance. Yes, um, Connery. Yes, Sean Connery as James Bond. How much stars did you did you give him in this movie? I gave him five stars because at rank. the beginning of his scene where he where yeah where he see him for the first time in the casino in the casino yes he did it just like this yeah like I'm James Bond and I'm here yeah <laughs> yeah and so just, he just hit that part. I agree. He immediately nailed it from, from the get-go. He wasn't a famous actor yet. This this is what made him famous, obviously. Yeah. Um, but he immediately got it somehow. He didn't need to grow into no. it. He just owned it. But you said he was 32. Yeah. Yeah. He looked very old. He looked a lot older, <laughs> yeah. Because he's my age. I, I yeah, And there's nothing boyish about him anymore. No, when you no. Look he at, looked like 40, 45. Right. When you 32. look at... Look at um, Darren Edgerton from Kingsman, he's mm -hmm. his age, but he yeah. still has that boyish, that like I do. Baby face. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I just think people from that generation, obviously those are people that mm -hmm. lived through the war. They just yeah. really matured faster or something. I don't know. But uh, yeah. Too much stress. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I think he's a great Bond. I, I completely agree. Mm -hmm. uh, any more moments you loved uh, about him in the movie that you thought were cool or typical Bond? Um, only when he was waiting for the bad guy in that Chinese girl room. Yeah. And uh, then the professor came in and he shot the bad six times. Yeah. And then the professor went to shot him, but he didn't have any bullets. Yeah, and Bond knew. Yeah, kind of that type of gun only had six, six bullets, six bullets in it so. per round. Yeah, badass moment. <laughs> I agree. It's one of my favorite moments, personally, in, in the series. Um, I also ask you to rate the, um, the Bond girl or Bond girls, mm -hmm. and however you wanted to interpret it, this. Obviously, Honey Rider by Ursula Anders is the mm -hmm. big one. There, there are more. Yeah, what did you me. think? <laughs> Honey. <laughs> yeah, it's typical James Bond again, right? Yeah, but, but also at least it's kind of pussy it's this pussy, time. pussy, right? Of puss? Puss fella. Puss fella. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also weird. Yeah. But I gave the Bond girl uh, three stars. Okay. Yeah. Not five. But uh, she was a beautiful woman. Uh, only the acting, I think it's because it 
uh, because it's an old movie. It's not, it's not the most three-dimensional uh, rule. No, no, no. And she has like, uh, how do you call that? A simple task, like mm -hmm. a simple acting role. Yeah. Yeah, they just uh, they just casted her after seeing her with a wet t-shirt and that was pretty much it. It's just because she was really beautiful. Um, not to downplay like she did a bad job, obviously she didn't because she became so iconic. Mm -hmm. But um, okay. yeah, you are right. Um, any more comments on the other women in this movie maybe? There was the, the Chinese one, Miss Taro, that Bond used. Uh, yeah, um, she was not a Bond girl for me. No. Just another girl in yeah. the movie. Fair enough. She wasn't the, obviously Honey Rider was the Bond girl. Yeah. Okay. Three stars for uh, Honey Rider. Uh, we go over to the Bond villain or Bond villains <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> obviously, the movie was named after the the big villain. Yeah. What did you think of of Doctor No? I gave uh, for all the villains. Right. Four stars because Dr. No, I only saw him in the last few scenes. That's right, yeah. They held um, him off for one yeah. hour and a half. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so long. Yeah, <laughs> and only I only saw like the extras, the like the helpers from Dr. No, right. And um, I already saw that some of them were bad. Yeah, Professor like, Dent, you predicted, yeah. yeah. All the all the helpers I predicted. Yeah, the Chinese girl you predicted. The taxi driver. Taxi driver. And the photographer. Yeah. Then uh, the doctor, and then the Chinese girl. So. Right. There are four, right? Yeah. 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 It's weird that they didn't cast actual Chinese people to be his helpers. They're all their makeup is all done to make them look Chinese, mm -hmm. but. I, I never understood why they did, just didn't cast actual Chinese act mm -hmm. actors. Never. Uh, also for Dr. No himself, maybe. Um, but yeah, four stars. Yeah. Um, do you think it was a problem for the movie that they didn't show him or did it add no. to his strength? No. Um, they talked about him through the movie. Right. So his presence was always... Yeah, his presence is uh, was through the movie. Yeah. And like a watcher like me was like, okay, now I want to see him badly. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see him now. So they do get oh, you yeah. excited to see yeah. what he looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Four stars. Mm -hmm. Nice high score. Yeah. Um, I also asked you about the locations in Dr. No. Yeah. What did you think of the locations? Oh, three stars. Three stars. Yeah. All right. That's another big score, mainly set in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. uh, the island of Crab Key, it's not an actual island, it's a beach on Jamaica. Yeah. Um, what did you think? Uh, sometimes fake. Right. And sometimes beautiful when um, how the Bond girl and James Bond met each other. The beach was beautiful over yeah, there. Yeah, very but iconic. But in the swamps, there were swamps. Yeah. <laughs> Very different. Uh, it was a very different setting. Yeah, <laughs> but it, to me, it's uh, a place. My friend David Switzky obviously visited it. Uh, the place is called Goldeneye, where um, the the writer of mm -hmm. James Bond lived, and there's also the beach, um, where. But there was no swamp. The the swamp. I don't know. You have to ask David. But um, it it looks like a great place to visit. Uh, very exotic, I think. Is this a hint that we have to go to Jamaica? Well, one day maybe, <laughs> one day. But yeah, uh, three stars. Yeah. Uh, I also asked you to, to give stars to the story mm -hmm. of the movie. I gave that one two stars. Right. Yeah. Well, that's still fair. Um, the story is pretty basic, I think. It was, what did you it, think? Yeah, it was basic, but it's, it's like a detective story, right. not a James Bond story. And I predicted a lot. Yeah. And I didn't saw it once. It was the, this was the first time yeah. for me. Yeah. And you already could predict a lot. You even uh, predicted that Coral and Felix Leiter, on the airport, you're like, oh, that's probably the CIA guy. <laughs> you, already, you already predicted it. Um, which... The girl with the photograph. Yeah. I also predicted also in the swamp or in the, in the river when they cut the bamboo to... Get yeah. In the water. Yeah. 
a lot of it is a lot of it is predictable, and, and the story doesn't have to be uh, unpredictable. But um, I, I can see the two stars because it's a very simple plot, basically. Yeah. Someone is killed, Bond. You need to find out who did it. That's basically the story, the mission. I want um, to be surprised, and yeah. I didn't got surprised. Yeah, I think there was one part that got you on your edge of your seat, and it's the part with the tarantula and the yeah, spider. Yeah, spider. I don't like spiders at all. <laughs> really not. Because they're like this small, I'm like yeah. screaming. Yeah, I knew, I knew she, wasn't gonna, oh. she wasn't gonna enjoy that scene. Um, but speaking of your enjoyment, <laughs> yeah. uh, not necessarily for the story, but even though there was some predictable stuff, I also asked you to rate your enjoyment for mm -hmm. this movie. Um, what did you give your enjoyment? Four. Four stars. So Four you stars. did really enjoy this then? Yes, I didn't fall asleep. Yeah, okay, but... And um, I was also very biased about old movies. Right. Uh, with the pow, pow, pow! And Sound I'm effects is <laughs> different. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, this surprised me very much. Yeah, in a yeah. good way, I in guess, if way. you yeah. rank it like this. Uh, the hair on the... On the closet and the fingerprints dust. Yeah. Very clever. Yeah, you enjoy that classic stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that. Oh, and the customer service lines. <laughs> oh, to plug them in. It's, yeah. Yeah, very sixties. Um, yeah, it's a product of its time, but I'm I'm very happy and and I have to admit, um, completely surprised because beforehand. I was thinking her enjoyment is going to be probably the least stars, but you gave it four stars, four stars yeah. uh, for the first Bond movie. Uh, so that gets yeah. uh, our average rating for this movie from well, Lirit up to... to the, uh, I had to give them a break because this is the first one. That's true as well. And they did a very good job. Right. Because they only have one million. Yeah, you're right. Small budget and they still... Obviously, it was a success because it spawned the rest of the franchise mm -hmm. that, that's still going on today. So they did a um, pretty good job. Yeah, you have to give them a lot of credit. Um, so that brings our average rating from Lirit for Dr. No, the very first Bond movie, up to three and a half stars. So I think that's a perfect great <laughs> ra first rating for Dr. No. That's yeah. what I would probably give it myself. You know, that's, that's like a seven. So... Um, the only thing... The only thing yeah. is that I didn't saw how he became a double O. Yeah, you were hoping to see that? I, yeah, yeah, it was the first movie. Yeah. So when his boss told him, like, well, you have the double O status. Yeah. How? Yeah, he's just, he, it just jumps into the middle <laughs> yeah. of a mission. Uh, yeah. He's always been a double O. Uh, it's not until, obviously, the movie we already saw, mm -hmm. Casino Royale, that we kind of see the origins. Yeah, so. but. Um, does it matter? Do you want to see like a young version of Bond uh, go through all that, or is it okay? It's the first one, but not the first book. You so said. you were expecting to see more, more of that, uh, more of his How origin. How he became? Yeah. Double O. Yeah. For uh, for someone who's not like a James Bond fan. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, to explain it more, what it is. Look like other movies who has like one till six. Like fit movies or more. Yeah. The first one is oh, is always the one who you get like where it's established. It started where yeah. it started and something like that. And this is like the sixth book from James Bond. Yeah. So. Yeah. No. Fair enough. Um, but that's, that's how it went. <laughs> you know, fair fair criticism, but. Um, we're happy with the three and a half stars, at least I'm happy with it, so uh, <laughs> that's the first movie reaction in the yeah, new format 24 in the bag. <laughs> yeah, 24 <laughs> uh, We hope you enjoyed this format, uh, leave a comment, leave a like, let us know what you thought of this and uh, like we said earlier, who knows, we could use this format for other movies as well. So thanks a lot if for you watching. Want, just Comment down below. <laughs> exactly. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you guys later. Bye.